Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. We've had a lot of new subscribers lately come on board and a ton of questions about our new truck, Suze. So we're going to reintroduce ourselves, answer some questions on the big girl and finish the app off with how we have made full-time travel our lifestyle and how we fund it. This is Nick, aka Big Boy. He loves his fishing, gets his bog. Luckily we put a rear winch on this thing. And I think he secretly loves the new truck more than me. Here is Big Mama, also known as Elena. She loves to burn, oh, I mean cook on the campfire. It is definitely burnt. Loves getting out there into these remote locations and I think she secretly likes wetting a lot. And of course, our young fellas. Leading the gang at the front, three and a half years old, this is Lennox. Full of beans and gives anything a go. Alright, you going on your own? Alright, see ya. Next down the line is Finley. Two years of keeping us on our toes and he's always up for a good tantrum. This is our youngest boy, Ollie. At eight months old, there is nothing this big bopper won't eat or smile at. What does that look like, Ollie? <laughs> That's us in a nutshell. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Sit back as we run through some of the commonly asked questions about the truck, and then we let you know how we afford this lifestyle. You nosy buggers. <laughs> <laughs> that's my intro. <laughs> oh, that's an intro. This episode is going to be about the truck. We've been smashed with questions, so we thought we're going to do a YouTube episode so it's easier for us just uh, when people message us, go, go and watch this. Uh, explains everything. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Disclaimer alert. <laughs> I just wanted to say that everyone is different. This is our opinion, this is our personal experience and research and all that sort of thing on the truck. So take and it or leave it. Yeah. And yeah, biggest thing is do your research. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get into um, some questions, what people have been asking us. Uh, so here we go. First one, what did we get? My Zuzu 4x4 NPS truck. Uh, it's got a GVM of 7 tonnes. And a combine of 11, I think. And that is the main reason why we, we've gone this, because it's just the weight it can carry. I mean, the back axle can take something like six tonnes. What he says. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's what it is. Um, and why do we go with it? Ultimately, because of the weight. Three boys are getting way too big, and three car seats in a normal car was getting really tight. Yeah, and we wanted a bigger boat. Did we? <laughs> and we, yes, we wanted a bigger boat and this, this could do it. Yeah. Anyway, the questions, what everyone wants to know. The first one is... Is it auto or manual? And it's an auto. What do we think of the auto? Yeah, the auto is not too bad, although it wants to hold on to fifth till the death. Yeah, it does. Nearly till it chokes. So it's got a, like any other auto car, it's got the, I think they call it Tiptronic or manual mode. So. If it's very hilly, we just put it in that and do the gears ourselves. Yeah, and it's pretty easy to do that actually. Yeah, um, yeah, we're not we're not fussed either way, manual or auto. I think either's good, but we just went with the auto because it's what we could get at the time. Yeah. And, and who doesn't love that. eating <laughs> while driving? <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Next question. Biggest one: Is it comfortable? Do you know what? I'm going to answer this one Go because. For it. A truck wasn't on my radar, let's be honest. <laughs> and I was a bit worried about how comfortable it was and all that sort of thing. So it is surprisingly comfortable. And we did not upgrade to the suspension seats. And is there a reason for that? Oh, they just make it more comfortable. Yeah. And they're a bit expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, it's not a similar ride to the D-Max, but it's not as comfortable. I will I will say that. We'll be honest, it's not as comfortable, yeah, I don't no. think. 
um, it. Yeah, but it's sort of a trade-off um, between space, all those other things that matter, um, that sort of evens it back out, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Look, I find it comfy. I don't really care, to be honest. Yeah. It's not as bad. Everyone, like, thinks it just shakes you to the shit, but we haven't found that yeah. yet. And uh, you do think that when a truck... Yeah, but we've done a bit to the... Oh, we've got different suspension and different tyres than normal, which we'll, we'll touch on later. But the ride is pretty good. The noise, um, I think the engine's not too bad. I think it's the buddies. Yeah, I think it is a little bit noisier. I definitely yeah, pick definitely, up on the noisy, yeah. like, noisy part of it. Yeah. But you weirdly get used to it. Yeah. I th yeah, I think at the time, these were sort of the... The tyres were the main reason to keep the full um, payload. So we went with the muddy, but they I think they just are a bit loud, like all muddies are. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's not bad. Yeah, you can put noise deadening stuff in these, but we haven't worried. We can still hear each other. We just can't hear the kids, which is a bonus. So why put <laughs> <laughs> why put that in if <laughs> <laughs> we can hear the kids. <laughs> we can hear the kids. Anyway. Anyway. Why Izuzu? Well, we stayed with Izuzu because we were stoked with Maxi, as you all know. Yeah, we couldn't kill Maxi. Nah, so reliable. Um, we had no issues whatsoever. So, Izuzu, <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah. Um, and as far as, like, they're pretty renowned, these 4x4 four four trucks with Izuzu. They've been around for a while. Yeah. Another big question we've got, or we keep getting asked, is are we going to do any performance mods to the mode or anything? Um, not at this stage. Look, it is a truck. It's not the fastest thing in the world. Um, but we don't go anywhere fast. And for four drive tracks that we've done so far, have been creepy crawly. And this is this yeah. thing's geared for that. So not as yet. We're not touching the motor. Uh, we never touched Maxi's motor when we had it. Yeah. And it was reliable. So I think we're going to do the same with this. All right. The next one is weight, tire pressures. Um, we keep getting asked this a lot. The gross vehicle mass, and if I get anything wrong, I'll fix myself up down the bottom. See that magpie? Yeah, the GoPro nearly got took out by a magpie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the gross vehicle mass on this is seven tons, um, and the combined is eleven. And the rear axle weight is six ton, and the front one's like 3.1 or 3.2 ton. I don't know, why are you looking at me? Well, it's, yeah. <laughs> anyway, they're just massive. Like, the whole truck's GVM can nearly fit on the back axles. Woohoo! <laughs> anyway, um, that's a, yeah, that's a reason why uh, we went with that. Tire pressures, they do run higher tire pressures, so I think at the front, we're 75 or 76 and the back is either 80 or 86 at the moment um, and they seem to be working but yes they are higher pressures um, for a truck you can take them down when you're off-road we haven't yet <laughs> no if you guys watch it he doesn't like to for some odd reason hence why we get bogged a lot yeah but that we're gonna play around with the tire pressures especially off-road to see where our sweet spot is yeah um, for on and off-road but on road 80 around 80 fair size yeah um water capacity water capacity so we actually don't have that much water in in the truck we've got a 50 litre under tray tank but we are going to get a bladder that goes in the cab so believe it or not um there's not a whole heap of room up the guts because the exhaust sort of comes up and around and plays around a bit but um, yeah, so we are going to put a water bladder just just because. Yeah. Uh, all right, next one, fuel consumption. Now, it is a big truck. Uh, we haven't done any performance mods or anything like that. And we're sitting, towing at around 22 litres per 100. So and without towing? Uh, we haven't done too much without. But it normally drops to around 19. Yeah, and compared to Max? Maxi towing was around that 1920 without a headwind. So, and if you guys yeah. haven't watched us previously, we had an Izuzu G Max. Yeah. 2016 Izuzu G Max. Yeah. So I think, oh look, we're pretty happy with that. I mean, it is what it is. We're carrying a bit more gear this time, so. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is what it is. Filling it up is um, what? How many liters? 140 liters. Yeah, we've got a 140 <laughs> liter tank in this. So I'm um, filling it up this time is um. Hurts. hurts a bit. <laughs> <laughs> hurts a bit more than Maxi. Yeah, but it's not too bad. It actually does pretty well. Yeah, it's surprising. Yeah, so, it is. Truck Perfect. insurance, we decided um, we have our caravan with NRMA and um, 
so we decided to stay with NRMA. They were able to do everything for us for the truck and you get your discounts if you've been with them a certain <laughs> time. So yeah, yeah, NRMA. <laughs> Yeah, it is more expensive though, yeah. and it is it is harder to get insurance for these. Yeah, you have to ring around, and it took how long did it take? Yeah, and a lot of people you ring up and they just go, nah, can't do it. Yeah. So I think the main ones, like Club 4x4 did us a quote, NRMA, and there are a few like other truck mobs that could do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and moving on to that, um, we, a big question is, do you need a truck licence? Yes, you do. And Nick and I both passed our truck licence, thank bloody God. <laughs> and um, what's involved, it's pretty simple, don't you reckon? Yeah. So, we're from New South Wales, I don't know if it's different in other states, you're going to have to do your own research if you're from another state, sorry. But um, New South Wales, all we did was um, an online test, which is 49 bucks at Service New South Wales, and that was not too bad. There's yeah. quest practice questions and they're pretty... It's like your Pretty L's easy. test. Yeah, it is. And then after that, um, we did a competency test, which you go to a um, outsourced. Yeah, like a private certifier. Yeah, and that was a grant. That was like a day you do so many hours in the truck and then do a test at the other end of it. All right, another few questions that we get asked a lot is how do we get in and out of the truck? Especially how do the boys get in? So, um, well, we're pretty simple. You just climb up. You've got yeah. two, three steps, you get in, and that's it. The boys. Everyone wants to know about the boys. Yep. Uh, Lennox climbs up. He thinks he's Spider Man. He loves getting up and out of the truck. Yeah. And he's Finny, you just lift him up, and then yeah. he climbs into his seat, and then you put him in, yeah. clip him in. And Ollie. Um, I haven't quite mastered it, I'm just a little bit too short, but all Nick does is just lift him in. <laughs> yeah, I just stand on the ground, lift him into his little, whatever that thing's called, seat. Yeah. And then you climb up two steps and do him up and... Do all the boys up at the back. Yeah. It's super easy. I don't know. Not as hard as everyone is thinking, I, yeah. I think. No. <laughs> yeah, you just clip them in. Anyway, I hope these videos have sort of helped a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another one is how we get in the rooftop. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the moment, you've got to climb up the back of uh, the tray because the ladder that the rooftop come with is not long enough. Yep. Yeah, um, and we're too lazy to figure out how to get a longer one. Well, you can, you can buy a longer one, but we just haven't. We're starting <laughs> to save for it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, at the moment, you do, the boat has to roll back. 300 mil for us to get in. Um, so that's pretty easy. Yeah, and then the rooftop just folds out and you're in. Spare tyres. How do we get the spare tyres off? And oh my god, didn't realise how bloody heavy the spare tyres <laughs> were, but they are very heavy. Yeah, they are. But all of these is the ramps that we get the boat off with. They go onto the side of the truck and then literally under a couple of straps. And we both roll them down. And roll them off and try and catch them. No, you just roll no. them off. <laughs> roll them off sensibly. Yes. That's what you wanted to say, wasn't yeah. it? Yep. <laughs> Is it hard to park? It was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who what? Like, I thought Nick was taking the actual... Um, but it actually is not that longer than Maxi. And look, height restrictions, um, we were used to them because um, having the boat on the D-Max, we couldn't really fit into any height restrictions oh, nice. like Maccas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't do the drive throughs <laughs> Yeah. So we've sort of been used to it and it hasn't really affected us, has it? Nah, we haven't been, um, like we sit about 3.6, nothing's, height hasn't bothered us yet. Um, yeah. The length, it's a metre longer than Maxi was, so it's about the same as a Ram. Yeah. The length, I think this just looks a lot bigger and people, I don't know what people think of it, but you yeah. can fit into a normal car spot if you can hang. Um, the arse end over. Yeah. Uh, so it hasn't actually been that bad. Yeah. And a lot of the time we've got the caravan on anyway, so... You go to caravan parking normally in towns if they're yeah. RV friendly. Um, cities, though, we have recently been to Canberra. Yeah. There it... were a few restrictions in, like, in the actual city. Yes. Um, yeah. But we sort of stay out of the city, so if you're not yeah. a city person, you'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get the car seats in? They don't come with oh, um, anchor okay. points. 
Yeah, so um, we had to get anchor points put in and then get the anchor points engineered. So they actually take your left nut. They're five, oh, what was it? No, 300 bucks a point. Yeah. So um, we got four points put in. <laughs> and the reason for the fourth point, everyone, no, not another kid. Um, it's going to be because we can actually fit seven people in this truck. Yeah, one, two, three. <laughs> seven, and there's five of us. There's two um, seats left over. So when my parents or Nick's parents come up or um, friends and family come up, we can actually take people. Yeah, but we just got four <laughs> points put in because we thought, hey, if we have to get another point put in at some for some reason, not that it will happen, um, it'll cost <laughs> us more to get the engineer back and redo it. So we just did it whilst he was there. Yeah, yeah, that was the reason. There was one question um, this morning that I got, and it was the weighting depth of these. So that means like water um, that the factory puts out to say don't go over that. But these actually have a really low weighting depth, I think, for such a big vehicle. The weighting depth from factory is 300 mil. So we've got about four inches with the tyres and the lift. So what's that? Is that another 100 mil? Oh, Let's know. say 100 mil. So it goes up to 400 mil. And then the, I think the reason why they um, give you that weighting depth is the diff breathers um, on these are very low. They're right on the top of the diff. So we're actually raising them. Um, so we can go deeper and obviously the air box on the other side is very low too so we're going to seal all that up um, so we can go deeper so i think we've answered most of the questions there but the biggest question of all is how much so right now we are going to break it down for yeah. you all you nosy things everyone's and, so nosy yeah <laughs> um and we'll tell you how much it costs yeah so the truck, the bear truck by itself, is ninety five thousand dollars. Yeah. From the um, dealership. And <laughs> when we got the picture of the truck. <laughs> yeah, when we got the picture of the truck and they sent it to we and we paid our deposit and all that. I looked at Elena and go, "What the f have we done?" <laughs> they look so cute. So, they look so small. <laughs> you wouldn't think they're a four No. But um, yeah, we we're lucky enough. Um, the dealer we got ours through could do a lot of the accessories, the all-terrain warriors accessories that we wanted. Um, so they fitted the bull bar, the wheels, the suspension, the rear winch, cradle tow bar. What else did they do? No, oh, they did the. Um, child points for us and the tray everything you see on Susie bar the boat and the canopy Dwyer's done and that came out uh, $157,000 that gives you an idea of all that cost so total total cost of this truck sitting there as it is with the boat with the trailer with the canopy with the accessories is $202 thousand and look it was the cheapest option for us it was the most practical for us yeah it's it's not a cheap car but when you um, look at all the other options like the rams and all that it's cheaper than them yeah and you know what like this is our home yeah it's basically our home yeah so the, just to give you another uh, the boat there's around 20 grand's worth of boat sitting on there so you take that off if you don't boat. If you don't boat, and it's a hundred and what? Hundred and eighty something. Yeah. Yeah, maths. we're we're pretty <laughs> pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, um, about hundred and eighty. Yeah, and just to give you an idea, when we're getting the canopy put on this at Muras Industries, there was a chopped three hundred series roll in to get its canopy put on, and that was two hundred and ten thousand dollars without any 4x4 accessories or canopy or anything. Yeah. So, um, yeah. That's just uh, as a bit of a... Yeah. <laughs> we did a lot of the work too by ourselves, which saved us a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, if you're thinking, how did they keep that under that price point? Um, it's like organising, yeah. designs, every like shopped around, research. Yeah, we did a lot of that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. <sighs> How did we afford it? This Everyone keeps asking this, and it's a valid question, I guess. I know we're in the spotlight. Um, we don't seem 
to work. Everyone thinks we don't work. <laughs> but we work, guys. We work. Um, yeah. Look, um, Lenya and I are very, very hard workers. Um, and I know um, it doesn't seem like we're not, like we're working, but we are. From a very young age, we've always, we've had a business, haven't yeah. we? So, when we were still in school, I was an apprentice, you were uh, like training to be a nurse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we had a firewood business together. Along with part-time jobs. Yeah. And doing uni. Yes. <laughs> so we had everything going. So just to give you an idea, we'd both go to work and do uni, and when you do uni, during the day. Um, and then in the afternoon, from probably up until like 8 or 9 o'clock at night, we'd be chopping, splitting firewood, delivering firewood. Yeah. Um, you know, and that could have been seven days a week we were doing that. Yeah, and I did a lot of night shift to try and fit in with uni. Um, so that, it got a bit Yeah, <laughs> it's just, yeah, it was hectic. And then, so with that, with the money we made from that, are we going to be open about how yeah. much? All right, we had $20,000 out of that firewood business. Yeah. Um, from that 20000 uh my parents bought a farm. And uh, we actually put that, reinvested that money into cattle. Yeah. Yeah. And then we we did all right with that. We doubled our money, didn't we? Yeah. So we had forty thousand dollars when we sold those, and with that we put into an investment property which we built. Whilst we we're doing the firewood, uh, whilst we were working uni. full time, uni full time, we actually built a house in our spare time. Yeah. We, like we actually did, like yeah. Nick, hands on, built a house and yeah. I helped when I could. Yeah. And that has been, how old is it now? Five years? Yeah, five, six, well, six maybe. Yeah. So that's five years old and we sold that house, that investment house, and Just that's what funded the truck. Just recently. Just yeah. recently. That's what, that's where the, how the truck came about. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. And with, no, and like. Within all that, all that too, like we've gone traveling, we've worked on the road. Yeah. We've reinvested and been smart with our money. We've budgeted a, a lot and we've gone without things and yeah, yeah, it's a lot of, like it has been a lot of hard work and, um, I know we get a lot of comments and that's fine. Like I totally understand how, how do you afford all this and all that sort of thing. So it is fair, Yeah. but, um, Honestly, it's it's hard work and it hasn't just happened. Yeah. Yeah, this, I mean, we've been traveling for six years yeah. now, five or six years. Um, and we've had to stick our necks out financially to, you know, we risked all our money on something that could have or might not have paid off, really, our investment. Well, not just that. And yeah. Um, but yeah, I get where people come from. They go, oh, they, you know, they don't work. How do they afford all this? Yeah. We, we still actually um, invest in things, by the way. That's how we're majorly funding our trip. Yeah, because YouTube, if you all want to know, does not fund our trip. It is yeah. a lot of work for... There's one comment that's just stuck in my head, and the fella said, um, you know, YouTube doesn't pay this well unless you've got, you know, 100,000 followers and get millions of views. And he's correct. That's, that's right. Yeah. We don't do YouTube... Um, to make money. We, if we did that, we'd be better off just working. Oh God, yeah. Just doing blocks work. And we actually spend our money investing in things to pay for our trip around Australia. Yeah. And we'll work when we need to. Yeah. This is what we love and we actually are passionate about traveling and making memories with the boys and hence why we started YouTube in the first place. It's another thing that we can all look back on and we're just really grateful that you guys follow us and help us out by keeping our dream alive, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, yeah. If, um, you know, everyone didn't watch, then we would be probably just travelling around. Not yeah, we'd YouTube. still be travelling. <laughs> <laughs> and we're probably still making videos, to be honest. Yeah, we would. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so that's how we fund it. Um, that's every, how we can afford this. Yeah, everyone, everyone does stuff differently. Everyone needs different things, yeah. travels different ways. I think it's just important to keep an open mind. Um, before you judge people, you just don't know the backstory. Yeah, um, that's right. Yeah. So I think we all should just support each other wherever we're at in life because life's 
shit. <laughs> yeah. And go out and spend your money because you never know when it's over. Exactly. Yeah. The exactly. kids are getting nothing off us. <laughs> no, nothing. they're not. We're going to spend every bloody cent yeah. we worked hard for it. <laughs> it's all gone already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Um, yeah. We that, hope you've yeah. got something from it. Yeah. Um, I hope we've explained as best that we can. Um, if we haven't or you want further explanation, <laughs> please comment below. But we've done our best today. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, hopefully you guys, I don't know, see it a bit differently or... Yeah, it gives you a bit more insight yeah. into us and how we've got this truck. Yeah. Anyway, like and subscribe if you want to see more adventures because we're just getting started with Sue. <laughs> Thanks, guys.